What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today we're going to show you just how easy it is to play YouTube videos within SharePoint. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Okay, let's go ahead and get the timer rolling, let's hop to it. First thing we're gonna do is get ourselves a brand new canvas. We're gonna create a new page. Pages are great canvases, they just really are. Create the page, we're gonna call it YouTube, okay? We're gonna get rid of this web part, we're not gonna do text right now. We're gonna divide this section into three columns. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna add a YouTube web part. We're gonna go find the URL of the video we want. We can right click, copy link address, go back to SharePoint. Click here, slap that in there, let it do its thing. There we go, and then let's publish the page. And there we go, we did it. I hope we did it within 60 seconds, we had to, we had to. All right, so now let's slow it down and talk about how this all comes together and why it's just so super cool. Before we do that, big shout out to everyone watching past watchers if you've liked and subscribed thank you so much we appreciate you if you haven't had a chance now's a chance like subscribe share and hit the bell notification so you can know as soon as new stuff is available so let's break this down a little bit first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start over we're gonna go ahead and slow it down and just take it from the very top and if you get tired of a page hit page details just blow that puppy away boom it's like it was never there so from the tippity top top, new page. Pages are great canvases, like I said. They live in site pages and they're super awesome. So we're gonna call this YouTube Videos Template. And we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this web part. We're not gonna do text right now. And we get one column. So let's go ahead and uh, edit that section from one column to three columns so we can put more videos here. Look for the plus sign, YouTube, and then what do we do? We went and we grabbed the URL. We can right click it, copy link address, go back here, click on the add video, and then we can paste it in there and we should be good to go. There we are. All right, now we can publish it. Let's take a look at this and then for another round we'll do uh, a playlist because it does behave a little bit differently. So here's how this behaves. You've got your thumbnail, you got your triple dots for more you can watch later share okay but if you click here you should be able to watch it in on the page so that's pretty slick you got your closed caption you got a whole but you know it's super seamless almost as if you were on on YouTube uh, and then so now we can edit and let's show what it looks like when you use a playlist instead of a single video so we'll go back over here we'll go to playlists and we're gonna grab a playlist we should be able to grab the link for that playlist and then go ahead and add another YouTube web part slap in that URL and then we'll demonstrate what that looks like so we'll go ahead and publish it and we'll just refresh just for good measure and let's look at the difference here so we hover over this we've got you can see what's going on here but watch the icons over here for the playlist we got a whole different set of icons or a new icon added here for the playlist so we can click there and we can bounce through the different videos on the playlist hopefully this has been super helpful let us know what you think about this feature how are you going to use it in your environment until then remember do the very best you can with what you got sharepoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time y'all oh wait you're still here all right you're truly dedicated so here's some bonus footage for you i'm going to show you how you can turn this into a template so let's go ahead and build it out a little bit more we'll go edit and we'll let's add a third video here so we got a little bit of meat to uh to play with so we'll go ahead and do that and you know we're just going to use the same url we're in test we don't care right now okay so so here we go we republish re this and this is you know we're gonna have this you know this deal you know what let's go ahead and take it a step further let's go ahead and and burn a copy of this right take a look at that you, you can copy this look at that now look at that for a template I mean you could do all sorts of neat things all right so let's go ahead and republish that see how that looks in real life okay let's say you dig it and you want to turn it into a template all you got to do is go into edit mode and there is a drop down right here save as template we're going to save as template we're going to call it youtube uh, videos okay and then we'll save page template great so now we go back to the home and let's say we want to fire off a 
new version of that or a page based off of that template we go to page and we have YouTube videos as a template working on it gives your preview there it is boom now you just go in and just update you just update the URLs to your liking all right so thanks for sticking around again we appreciate you SharePoint rocks and so do you take it easy for real this time we'll see you next time I'm a SharePoint expert play with data extra careful with my hands because I gotta use them forward yeah I'm a big old nerd I like maple syrup.